Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, uh, oops, let the cards fall where they may, do one more after that. This is your general love reading for June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading when it comes to, um, see what they're thinking and feeling when it comes to yourself and of course uh, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. Okay, so this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, click on the description bar below. You see where it says start. It will click on that and it will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. One more. There we go. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes there, you know, could be messages throughout that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately we, we create our own reality. Just give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. One more. There we go. All right, so let me just take these in and I'll be back. So Libra, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most with you. All right. Okay. And of course, you can see a few extra cards here, which are just clarification cards. I might add some cards as we proceed with the reading. But as it stands, we're dealing with, um, we've got the deception card here. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And I feel like it's coming from this person here. Something that you already have found out about because of how you was showing up in the past. We got this focusing on moving forward, um, just wanting to move out of this situation and, and really trying to gain the strength to be able to do that as well. For some of you, that strength card's about also containing the inner beast. So when we're talking about containing the inner beast, finding the strength to be able to maybe sometimes not flip out on this person, not, you know, uh, do something that will be detrimental in some way, shape or form. But also, like I said, also just kind of pulling on that strength card to be able to move forward, move ahead, because this is something that you're definitely turning your back on, something that you're definitely uh, emotionally wanting to walk away from or move away from in some way. And it's not to say that you want to, when we're talking about the Eight of Cups, we're talking about still having emotions for something, but having no choice sometimes in walking away from it. So it seems like, you know, on some level there was no choice or you felt there was no choice in terms of you just walking away from this. And it seems like this person didn't want to accept it. Again, we're looking at the past, aren't we? So it seems like this person didn't want to accept it with the two. It's like, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to face that. I don't want to have to acknowledge uh, that because this is something that I am committed to in some way shape or form with the high priestess I have some form of awareness even but I feel like that's more to do with committed I'm committed to this in some way shape or form and I'm going to want to I want to try and make this work I want to try and make this um, happen because this person is feeling like or at the same time let's say that with the five of cups there there is this feeling of you know, losing this, losing this, which brings us to where we are at the moment. You know, it's not been easy for you showing up as the nine. It's not been easy. It's been quite challenging. You know, you've, you've taken a few hits. You've taken some knocks. You're still, you know, standing. Ultimately, you're still standing, but standing with, how do I put that? It's, it's, it's still challenging to be able to 
have two feet on the ground and and remain with a certain level level of composure while while trying to move out of this or trying to move forward. Like I said, this deception is coming from their 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 side, um, showing up as the lovers. It seems like this person felt to tell you or inform you about someone in the picture in some way, shape or form, to some degree. And, you know, of course, that degree is unacceptable simply because you felt, well, for you, I'm not sure what degree that is. I'm not sure whether this is someone that they have been speaking to or someone that they were in a relationship with, but on the verge of coming out of. I get that sense because they're so focused on you. Their focus is very much on you. And yeah, of course, that could be simply based on where it stands at the moment. But there's this level of focus being on you and this other person is trying to kind of gain their attention. It's that type of thing. Yeah. But like I said, just going back, going back for you, this is, you know, it's not easy. It's being quite challenging. This is consuming your thoughts at the moment with the eight. You know, this is all you seem to be thinking about because it's fresh, it's new. But like you opened yourself up to this person, maybe in, and not necessarily open yourself up to in the sense of, how do I put that? How do I put that? Allowed yourself to emotionally go into spaces within yourself that, you know, maybe you thought you shouldn't have, if that makes sense. Yeah, but you're pulling back on that now, though. Pulling back on that. You've put a halt to it. Um, with the Knight of Cups there. But still, it's still consuming your thoughts. It's still very much on your mind, interrupting your day. It's that type of thing. It's interesting because I'm not sure the level of... Because I don't have any... Um, let me see if we can clarify if anything shows up when it comes to this other person. What's going on there? Because I said, you know, their focus is very much on you. Want, wanting to... cut overcome this it's like I want to overcome this because this my Libra makes me emotionally happy there's emotional happiness there but I want to see what comes up if there's anything that comes up in terms of this other person yeah this is a burden as much as they wanted to overcome it is this is a burden it's heavy it's weighing heavy on this person definitely I feel like this person's going through definitely some regrets yeah, they want to put peace into the situation. They want to put peace back into this. You know, they know they've disappointed you. You're not happy with them. And I would go so far as to say this person's not also happy with themselves with the judgment card there. They know they're being judged by you. They know they're being, I mean, self-judgment there as well. Them being judgmental regarding their own actions. Yeah. So they're in this holding place with that three. interesting but still wanting that ten of pentacles you know that relationship because there's love there an offering of love as well i'm not sure what the extension extension the extent of what this other person plays in this other, in this person's life you know of course if they have been operating in a relationship which they didn't have the courage to end before they engaged in some of you. That's a whole nother story. And that that could be it for some of you as well. Which is why it's like the trust for you. It's like this trust. You've kind of, you know, you've hurt me. You've, you've hurt me. I didn't expect this. That's what you're kind of saying, Libra. So you're dealing with a lot of thinking. This, this is, it's, 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 you're up in your head about this. Very stressful very stressful because there's still this strong connection or attraction that you do have with this person. So there's frustration there around just you not being able to get out of this space mentally, you know, sorry, um, mentally. Yeah. So this person wasn't being very honest about their situation before they got into something with you, it seems. But their focus is very much on this, on you. I wanted to pull 
on there we go yeah it's just moving forward wanting to move forward wanting to make a change yeah you pull back on your emotions you put a stop to you know being i don't want to use the word delusional because it's not delusional but giving of your emotions to this person you know you wanted to move out of that have a change usually we move into part two get a fuller pitch and see where this moves to but i will be implementing that in the next few weeks guys so look out for that so as it stands yeah you know it, it, it's a process it's a process libra you know you've been this person has kind of broken their trust when it comes to you broken their trust when it comes to you as much as yeah they're focused on you and that the attention is not really on this other person for you it's like well you know now i see you different now i can't get away from what that has caused and what has that caused the lack of trust you know what you thought was is no longer how you see this person is slowly changed or shifted so there's a lot, the impact it's had is been, um, yeah, it has, has an effect. But the, 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 the silver lining in this for you is that, you know, you're able to walk away from something you feel doesn't feed you or doesn't match what it is that you expect of yourself, even though you manage to open up. With that comes strength, with that comes knowledge. You know, knowledge of self, knowledge of self. So you should be proud of yourself, regardless of where you are at the moment. You know, this is a temporary situation. This is a temporary emotional space that you're in, a mental space. You know, you'll, you'll learn something as you come out the other end. Stronger and wiser, let's say that. I don't feel like, I will say this before we wrap up, I, will, I don't feel like a conversation has been had as to give this you know giving this person an explanation as to why they felt the need to hide things from you i feel like this person didn't have to but they felt they needed to for some reason so um yeah that's for some of you as well so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity for those of you who don't know i do weekly singles and love readings uh, if that's something that interests you as i say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week bye <laughs>